So, uh, essentially, Rama is seen to be the avatar of Vishnu, who is like, um, like if you think Greek, the big three, he's one of the big three, he's the destroyer god, and he created the god. No. <laughs> Correction. the demon Ravana, who has been uh, torturing the people of India. And he is born to the king of Ayodhya, uh, to the king of Ayodhya Dasarada. And, yes. <laughs> we are born. <laughs> wow. and I am Rama, and I am his brother Lakshmana. He is blue, and I have my blue, like blue. Rama is blue. You are blue. Yes, I am blue. <laughs> and, and Lakshmana and Rama, at their uh, young age, are taken in by sage Vishwamitra to be taught the uh, divine art of uh, the Indian weaponry. So they are especially skilled in archery and hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they are also educated in the normal sense with a literary and a poetic sense. Strong liberal arts education. Good <laughs> job. Uh, the next scene, Rama and uh, Lakshmana are of marrying age. Oh, no. oh. 13, 14. <laughs> <laughs> getting married. Let's go, man. R74. <laughs> and at, at, at her kingdom, there is a competition to marry, uh, to get the hand of Sita. So what the competition is, uh, all you have to do to win the bride's hand is string the simple bow on the ground. Many, many have gone before me, and they are unable to even lift the bow. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, do you even lift? I'm stringing it. <laughs> <laughs> and it breaks. And I get the hand of Sita. What the fuck was this? <laughs> <laughs> On who is to become the king after Dashrata. Talk in Indian accent, please. Ram is not fit to be king. <laughs> 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 And I was exiled to the forest by my father for 14 years. Rama, I cannot bear to see you go alone. I will come with you. Yes, my brother. You, me, and my wife, Sita. <laughs> we will go to the forest together. And then in this, uh, in the grief that Dashrada sent his son away, Dashrada dies. Alright, um, so now Rama, Sita, and Lakshmana uh, are living in the Why forest, the... and, and Bharata, who was away, comes back to be crowned king. Currently, I, I am Bharata. When he hears of Rama, Rama's departure, his exile, Bharata is immensely worried, and he goes to visit him. Oh, my brother Rama! My brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot rule this kingdom. I must listen to our father. I must listen to what he says. Because, as I was taught by Sage Wish, oh, no. I am to listen to my parents. Father, Star Wars. Our dear father is no more. Really? It is our <laughs> I made a promise to our dead father. Rama, give me your chapel. Shoes. Let them rule. Whipped. And then Bharata, in the meanwhile, takes the shoe and puts it on the throne, and to indicate that Rama is ruling the kingdom, and he is just a uh, he is ruling in place. So. <laughs> so, in meanwhile, in the forest, we're living happily ever. 
<laughs> and then Shufanaka, the uh, sister of Ramana, comes, uh, sister of Ramana, demon. sees Rama and falls for his beauty. By the way, she's a demon? She's a demon who has transformed herself to look like a human. <laughs>
India, where we must travel to Lanka, the but kingdom. There is a sea in between. How are we going to cross it, Rama? Got you. Oh, me. There are the rocks. But the rocks are all sinking. What's no, going on? <laughs> I, I shall do meditation and figure out how to make these rocks float and give us a path to Lanka. The God of the sea, he has enlightened me. He has enlightened me with his enlightenment. <laughs> he has told me that for these rocks to float, I must inscribe them with my name, Rama. Right, go, go, go Hanuman. Go be my slave and enlightenment. <laughs> yeah, alright, alright, fine. Okay, you're done. Oh my god, they have floated. Yes, we have a bridge now. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is a very improper use of the last part. We're very welcome. Oh, so meanwhile, we're at the tip of India. Oh, meeting the siren. We're, we're on Lanka now. now. We're along Lanka oh, now. Oh and there is a war fought between oh, Ravana and uh, Ravana's kingdom, or uh, army of demons, and my army of monkeys. And by the way, I'm a demon. <laughs> Wait, you're a demon? The one up there. So who's the monkey? Yeah, just like that. Priya. Who's the demon? Tanvi. Okay, so we uh, the battle happened. There's Kumbhakarna, a massive demon, attacks our army. But Hanuman, who from a small monkey grows into a bigger monkey, <laughs> and defeats Kumbhakarna. Now it is the final battle between me and Ravana. Alright, come at you. Cut your head off! <laughs> then another one grows back. What are you doing? Cut your head off! Oh, stop, there's another one. Cut your head off! <laughs> just, just stop. <laughs> no, no! Please stop! You ten-headed demon! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stop it! And she is killed! <laughs> I, Rama, have succeeded and killed! The demon Ravana. And it. <laughs> and Ravana, in his death, is a vacant in the fact. Oh my God! You're you're a form of Vishnu. You are you are the supreme Lord. <laughs> and Ravana falls and dies. So now, Sita, who was stuck. In Ravana, in Ravana's kingdom. <laughs> Rama comes to find Sita free from uh, from the dead Ravana's grasp. Sita, I hope you are, are not in trouble in Ravana's kingdom. I don't think so. <laughs> but I don't trust your pure purity. I don't believe you are a pure woman, an Indian, a traditional woman. I must have you walk on the fire. And to prove your purity. Look, she's alive. Yes, <laughs> you are rightfully my wife. And now we travel back to Ayodhya in a flying castle. <laughs> 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 Everything and it's all bright and it's happy, and that's how Diwali became the festival of life.